now I'd like to show you all uh, one of the very very rare and uh, precious tree of this uh, that has come from India. It's called uh, Bilwa in uh, Sanskrit and Indian languages. And in uh, scientific language it's called Eagle Marmalos. This uh, Eagle Marmalos flowers I have got here so that uh, people who have the tree can identify it easily. It's very fragrant and uh, attracts lots of butterflies. And uh, this, the speciality of this tree is that the root is uh, very important in almost all Ayurvedic uh, preparations. It's one of the Dashamula and it goes into Chavanprash, Mahanarayana Taila and then Dashamula Rishta and uh, such compounds. And uh, this uh, Bilva tree is very, very, very slow growing and this specimen is probably about 100 years old and uh, it, since it is so much useful in the medicine, it has been the harvesting also too much and uh, it is slow growing, people are not planting enough so it is becoming very rare. Uh, it has a lot of legends and uh, associations in Indian mythology. It is a favorite tree of uh, Lord Shiva. And on the holy day of holy night of Lord Shiva, on Shivaratri, if you offer these leaves on the for Lord Shiva, it is supposed to give salvation. And also it is important for all Shiva worship and uh, for many of the Indian uh, rituals. The root goes into the Dashamula compound. And uh, the leaf is uh, having a, a tri three structure like this. That's one of the identifying mark. It has sharp thorns. And uh, cutting this tree is one of the worst sin uh, what anybody can do. In Hindi, in the Indian uh, thinking system, nobody will accept <coughs> to cut this because it's uh, like killing a human in terms of the the sin value. And planting is equally good. It's a service to humanity. If anyone has this tree in the garden, kindly don't cut it. Tell the architect like this nice people in Auroville to put it on the side and build around it. And if you have free space, you can always plant one of them. It's a nice, lovely tree. Quite small. Even if it's hundreds of years old, it doesn't uh, grow very big. I have a question. Yeah. Is is this uh, the one that's traditionally used? The thorn is used to pierce ears. Yes, I don't know. Oh. Probably because it contains mercury. It's one of the few tree, uh, trees that contains traces of natural mercury in it. And uh, for people who are dying or uh, they're looking as if they're going to die, they give one leaf to eat. Sometimes it just like a homeopathic thing, it, uh, like a catalyst, it can turn the situation around. And it's used for poison, to remove poison from the system. So maybe that uh, thorn is antiseptic. <laughs>